Lots of gossip flying around, right? We've got some people saying that Lisa Renna has gotten a cease and desist from Kathy Hilton over uh, her saying, I guess, getting in a fight with someone at a, a nightclub in Aspen where I guess she was trying to play a Michael Jackson song and then it got into a racially heated argument with the staff members of the nightclub and I guess Kathy Hilton, this is totally a rumor. I don't know where this even came from, but um, the rumor is that Kathy Hilton got in a big argument, got really upset, left, and then Lisa Renna maybe continued to talk about it or was going to continue to talk about it. So she sent a cease and desist. So that's one Rumor. Another rumor on the same topic is that Erica sent a cease and desist to Lisa Renna, <laughs> all Lisa, just the players are different on the other side, that um, she, she was drinking, drinking and taking too much drugs and that Lisa Renna, as part of the storyline of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12, wanted to do an intervention with Erica where they call out that she's got a drinking and drug issue. Yeah. There's been some other rumors flying around about alcohol abuse on the show as well with other characters, but that's not for this video. Pretty crazy. Now, I don't know. I haven't been able to substantiate too much of this tea. There's definitely some cryptic messages flying around. You guys saw Kyle's the other night, which I'll post here in a second. Um, anyway, cute little Kathy uh, supposedly said through her reps to some of the tabloids that she did not send a cease and desist she doesn't know anything about it and that she's filming and she didn't run for the hills although that was reported and that she has no issue with lisa renna although the gossip that i heard didn't really center around lisa renna it just sent centered around kathy having an altercation with like a nightclub employee or whatever i don't know Anyway, um, I'd say that that is all BS. We do know a cease and desist was given because Lisa Renna put it on her Instagram oomph with like, you know, cease and desist oomph again or whatever. Um, so we know that obviously some cease and desist was given. So I guess the only person left is Erica. I mean, unless Lisa was talking about PK threatening me with that, who knows at this point? Okay, you guys, now I'm going to show you the cryptic Kyle Instagram story note that she put up. You know, to me, it was Kathy Hilton she was talking about. I have a few reasons I think that, but I think uh, if Kathy Hilton did... Uh, really uh, quit the show for a bit, you know, it happens. The women will quit and not really quit. It happens all the time. They get very upset with production. Um, possible that Kyle got upset about the whole thing going down and maybe some things were said between her and Kyle. Um, some people speculated the cryptic post that Kyle did was about Kim. Um, I don't know. So it's I mean, I don't know if Kim is actually filming. I, we know she's been asked by Andy Cohen, which, by the way, uh, she left a very, like, uh, <sighs> troubling video to me, basically telling us that Andy Cohen called her. And um, it was a public message she just dropped. And I just... I'm worried about Kim. I, I, I just don't want Kim to pay the price. You know, like, she's a person... And although she's super entertaining, I just don't want her to suffer as a person in the process of going back on the show. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share with you like stuff that's flying around on video here, if it's like a copyright infringement. So I'm going to play it for you and then I will give you a link in the description to this Kim video uh, that I'm referring to, so you guys could watch it if you want. It's in my posts on my feed, which is Wilkie underscore Dana. Quick reminder, send me gossip, because we can talk about it, figure out the best way to get it out there, you know, but don't send me bullshit. Okay, that's it. Hold on. <laughs> A phone call. Andy Cohen called me. 
uh, a couple last week. So maybe that could be one of our discussions. He said, you know, a lot of people have been asking for me to come back. And he said he thought, I'll go right to the source. So he did. And um, I do love Andy a lot. He's great. And it was time for him to put his baby to bed. So we cut the phone call short. But we definitely had it. So uh, let's see here. Most people felt that Kim didn't look her best in this video. She looked a little bit, or you know, she was acting a bit erratic. I guess the general sense from the fans was that she might have been on something. And so <sighs> people were having this conversation, like, should Andy be really, like, inviting her back on the show? Is that the right thing? Like, is that really selfish of everybody and not thinking of Kim's well-being? You know, given that she doesn't seem like at the moment everything's going great. I don't know. This was the conversation. Now, I would have to say that I definitely am going to hold Andy accountable if they depict her as like a raging, uh, you know, like alcoholic again or drug person again. Because it's just like, you know, you can't pretend you don't know. You know, she's had issues in the past. You already aired them. Like, don't do it again. You know what I mean? Like, don't be so selfish. Like, care about Kim. This filter reminds me of Andy Cohen. Um, <laughs> it's like heaven and hell all in one person. Um, and it was sort of like, you know, she says that Andy Cohen cut me off. Like, she was rambling maybe, and then he just cut her off. You know, I and I know like he was with his son, but it just, that's really telling for me for so many reasons. You know, I don't know. I just felt like maybe he's being a little selfish. You know, maybe this phone call was not about like, how you doing, Kim? Would you like to come back on the show? But like, I know you want to come on the show and I'm ready to use you. That's kind of the the vibe I get because he just didn't even finish the phone call. You know what I mean? Like he couldn't even give her that time to just like, even though she might be erratic and all these things to just listen to her. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. reasons that I think that that message that Kyle uh, posted on her Instagram was directed at Kathy Hilton. Um, but I think really truly, um, the only person that really impacts Kyle truly, you know, is Kathy or Kim on the show ever, <laughs> honestly, um, because they know her secrets. They know what really gets to her. And um, you know how sisters can go for your Achilles heel if they want to. I think Kathy really hit a chord. Now they've just reconciled. And I think Kathy has an ability to really hurt Kyle's feelings very easily. I think she did something that really hurt Kyle. And I wonder if we're going to see it on season 12, uh, what happened. Something was said, you know, I don't know. Okay, I love this filter. <laughs> okay, so then there was a blind that NT from Crazy Days and Nights, uh, released and Bravo Snarkside put it on her Instagram. And it basically calls out that there was a housewife that had a promotional launch that uh, no one RSVP'd for. And so everyone was wondering who the blind was about. And a lot of people guessed um, Real Housewives of Orange County, but no, it was Erica Jane Girardi's hair extension launch party that he was referring to. So I thought I'd end this video with that and get a kick out of it. By the way, you guys, I'm dropping an episode with NT, uh, a two-parter all about Diana Jenkins, the new Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12, and it's dropping over the, the first two weeks of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 airing, and it is epic. I'm not going to lie. It's epic. Probably the best thing you'll ever hear.